Well, we're out today, guys. Um, we're not camping, I'm not staying overnight. I'm a uh, little past, we're, we're quite a wee bit past my, my other camp already, at my near camp. But um, yeah, I'm going to use this time to get some uh, get some exercise, make sure I get out of the house because I go nuts staying in the house. And uh, the weather is, wow man, stunning. So uh, yeah, I'm going to use this time to go a few kind of bigger walks. Do a bit more scouting. So I had it in my mind. I've, I've got it marked on my GPS thing. And there's a lake that I want to go to, but it's about ten miles. So I mean, it's doable for me there and back in a day. Um, but what I've done is I've I left it a bit late before I left the house. I wasn't expecting to go that far today. But I've left it a bit late. So if I walked out there and back, I would be able to do it and I'd be getting back just as it's getting dark. But I wouldn't be able to stop or anything or chill for even half an hour or, or something. Because coming back here's okay. But I don't want to get through. It's the last little bit close to the city. And uh, I don't want to rock up and surprise some uh, some wild boar in the dark. Because, uh, as I say, I, I was walking there that one morning and I came up on a boar, he was no more than six foot away from me. So I'm lucky he kind of decided to run the other way. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how far I make it. So I'll be going, I'm past my, my quick camp. Because that go that's going to be no use soon, even the amount of people I've passed today. So that tells you in the summer going to be so many people up around there and all it's going to take is for someone to find that camp I know someone will they'll start using it sitting there drinking blah 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 so yeah the only thing about that one is it's uh, it's nice and close I can get there with no real bother <laughs> but I wanted to go find somewhere with some kind of water source even if it's further out, that's why I, I think this uh, lake, but it seems to be there's another couple of bits a bit closer than that. Maybe half the distance, five, six mile. There might be small streams and stuff. I need to, I need to check it out because I'm walking that far. If I don't have to take water with me, that's a big plus. You know, it takes a lot of weight off. I don't know, I don't mind sterilizing that. It just takes a lot of weight off my thingy, so. I'll bring you back as and when we're we're places today if I see anything nice and yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy myself out for what if I can I'm gonna get that far and stop somewhere, make a wee fire, just have a coffee. I don't have food in me because I've been eating loads sitting in the house. That's another reason I wanted to get out. <laughs> I'll stop bloody eating through boredom. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back as and when, okay? We're getting there guys, but I've just noticed this, you see the, the road there, in this big tree up here, look how much that's leaning. I won't be camping anywhere around that, <laughs> don't even like the idea of walking under it to be fair. Jesus. It's strange in the tree where it's going to... I mean, you see that from here, but you see cracks and like strains, vertical cracks up at the side where it's crushing and splitting. It's going to come down. First wind, I would say, probably after this summer, sometime in the winter. So anyway, we have walked a long way. I kind of took another detour. Not, I've not went to the, the what do you call it? The um, lake that I was going to go to, that 10 mile away one. I found something else, should be more than worth it. I'm so close now, it's unreal. But it's still been a good... I need to check my GPS, but I reckon I'm about almost 7 miles now. Well, it's a little way off it, but... It's about an hour less travelling, so... 
by the time I get here I can still get back in that so uh, I'll bring you back when I'm there we're here ta-da we've got this big lake it goes up uh, goes up that way quite a way we're right at the end of it there's a bit where the road goes but it kind of goes in between them so there's like a bit of forest and hanging there and there's another lake just slightly further up um, it looks like it's kind of weird though, it's like it's got little, at the end it's got like little land bridge things over it But I can see, I don't think you can see it out in the water there, it looks like a, uh, you know like a net, you know, you know when they breed fish They look a wee bit knackered and disused, I don't know if they still do it But they are all over this wee bit, and there's a couple of bits that's like with pools they've put things So that's why I'm not going down it, but there is this, this <laughs> I found this handy dandy little bench So I'm going to sit here Probably not gonna have a fire now because I can't be bothered. I could just walk into the woods over there and make a little fire if I really want to, but I think I'm just gonna sit here, grab some water, and I'm just gonna chillax for a little while, I think. Because I've walked a long way and I've got a long way back to go yet. The, um, the good thing is, though, from the road end of this path, this is only half a mile. So, if I can get lifts up to that road end, then we've got, you can see in the forest behind me, this, this forest goes on by the way, this is, that's big, that's the edge of the big, big forest. Um, so, if I can get a lift to there, and it's like, it's not just pine, it's not just thingy, it's uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's um, kind of mixed deciduous with um, bits of birch, bits of pine thrown in, so it's pretty good. We'll see what I can arrange for later in the summer. Well, guys, I think that's time to go. Because I've got about a three and a half, three hour walk ahead of me. Well, about two and a half, I think it took me to get here. Jeez, woods are lovely. Like a... a mixed kind of deciduous sort of woodland, so... I can't wait to come back here, hopefully. Oh, wait there. Where's he going? One second, guys. Just hoping to get them on film. Just see in the distance there that bird. That's oh, that's awful footage. It was awful footage, but um, actually, it's a I don't know what they call them here, but it's a type of fish eagle. There's like three of them, and flying about my head all day. But every time I get my camera out, they're, they're out of range. And of course, I only use my phone, so the zoom ain't that brilliant. I was hoping to maybe catch them close in. But um, yeah, they're like a family, like three of them, they keep flying about all day. Big birds, like. And I wasn't sure if they were, I thought they were a buzzard at the start. They were quite far away. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. But then I thought, one, their wings aren't as square at the ends as you'd expect from a buzzard. And also, they're hovering over the water. But you won't really see a buzzard doing because there's no reason for them to do that. They're not going to dive into the water and catch anything. So, yeah, it turns out, it turns out it's uh, like a fish eagle, European fish eagle or whatever type it is. So that's quite cool. Maybe before I get home because they're flying, still flying about here somewhere. Maybe I'll get them on camera. But yeah, that's me heading home now. So big walk ahead of me, but I've enjoyed this. Well worth it. And uh, especially for the summer, oh wait there one second. If I can get, uh, if I can get um, like a little oh, gunshots just across the way. If I can get a lift up to this little village out here, then walking here is only half a mile, maybe half a mile to where I am now. 
<laughs> so maybe a mile in total into the woods and everything. With my with my little boy, it means he won't have to he won't have to carry too much. So that'll be cool. So on the ground here, I think this might be one of the feathers from those fish eagles. You know, see it's just lying there. What do you think? I mean, it's a big feather. Looks the right sort of colour and everything. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm going to take that home with me. That's a cool find. So, I'm still on my way home. I'm en route through a nice bit of forest. Excuse me. And I came across, you'll see any others, lots of. There's lots of ant hills, like wood ant hills that I think they hibernate or the queen hibernates or something through the winter, I don't know. <laughs> but you know you got lots of pigs up here, so I came across this one, which if you look, that's a pig that's been in there to get larvae and stuff when these have been dingying back. I <laughs> don't want to get swarmed here, but you see they're fixing it. You see close to there all the ants. Loads of them. So the queen will somewhere be in there and they're going to be gradually fixing this mound. And these mounds will grow, they can be high like, I mean really high, God knows how many, how they do it. For such small little things that they do. And here's another one. This is more like, still intact. See all the ants on there. I'd like that you get them in this, well certainly this would be better wood. I don't know. Maybe every 20, 30 metres apart. If we just go around this tree, if you see through those trees just there, yeah, that's another one. There's another one in a distant pine that I don't think you can see it too well on the camera, but yeah, they're everywhere in here. I've seen wood ants nests in Britain, but not just not as many like all over the place and it's only in certain forests really. I know you got a lot in the pine forests up in Scotland. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on marching on, keep plodding on, get through these woods. Um, I'm about, oops, nearly fell there, not concentrating. I'm about halfway home, mm, give or take. Oh, let's see, another ant's one. It's only another few metres, there's one up. I don't know if there's any ants on this. Yeah, there is. I can see them, but this one's more intact, so... I think that's why we're not seeing as many inside. And you can see up there, just the edge of those trees, there's another one. Anyway. As I said, I'll bring you back as it will be. I'm a bit closer to home. Well, guys, you know where we are. The track goes right past it down there, so I thought I'll stop in here and uh, I'm going to have that cup of coffee. So, I'll use some of this birch bark and everything that I left here. Mind when I was up camping the other, the other day there. So, we'll use a wee bit of that. And maybe some of this fat wood, get some of that sorted. Well, let's see what we've got here. I don't know if you can see it there, grass, I just picked up some of the little grass and thingy and sticks and whatever else we've got around here. So, it's a little bit windy. Well, we'll be 
be able to do this, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. Scrape it with the back of the knife. It's just on the outside of that. And we're really close to the end. Okay. So we'll give this a go, eh? See if I can get it. See if I can get it going. Oh well, that was quicker, wasn't it? Oh, I don't believe you. There we go. I'll get some of that on. Put that on. I don't have to worry too much because it's, it's all bone dry, man. Still hasn't rained here since the last time I spoke to you. Ooh. So we'll probably leave this, put this bit back in, just in the log bit, I stayed right. That's my wee stash. Oops, did it? And as soon as we can, we get our tools back. Safe and off the ground, we don't want to step on and break them, lose them. Guys, should we use the tripod or not? I don't have a what do you call it? I don't have a carabiner to clip onto it. Um, I suppose I could make a wee book device of some sort. I don't need to, I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna wipe it on now. Some sticks there, that'll be the biggest I'm going to because 
just want a small fire. Got some water for my coffee, a little bit to put it out. Uh, I don't want it burning for too long, too hot, and making big, you know, big coals just to make a cup of coffee. So probably leave it at that. to bring with me today like some real coffee so an extra strong one okay, so we'll get some of that in there Quite a lot, I don't know. I need a strong coffee now. Guys, I've not had a coffee all day. I've not eaten all day. So, I need something a bit. I'm gonna put a wee bit more hair on my bum. already hot but I'll just finish it there and let it brew real good and strong tell you what it's been an awesome day of the day I'm chuffed with that that that's definitely a, an eagle feather I've got there can't think of any other bird that that looks like that that would come off that so I'm very happy with that that two minutes oh just just click there so I don't know how long I'm going to sit here we may be walking back in the dark well the just getting dark which I'm not bothered about I'm not bothered about the dark or anything like that but uh just got to walk through that little path where I met that boar and I don't know early in the morning or at late night when they get you know when it gets dusk coming to night time that's when they get up and about because they're, they're mostly nocturnal mostly through the night time they'll go ratching for food that's why their nose is so good for sense of smell that's why they don't have they've got poor eyesight they don't really need it they just follow their nose <laughs> but uh, yeah hopefully I'd like to see another one. I just wouldn't like to sneak up on it and be five, six foot away from it, that's all. <laughs> oh. That coffee's brewed now. So I'll just stand out there and let the thing settle on it. I set that on and all that grass hasn't even actually fully burnt, that's a bit weird. Okay, we'll just let that burn out and bring it down before I, before I get the water on it. That's some nice coffee. Oh, that there is like tar. It's fine by me. Love my strong coffee. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, later on in the year when we get past a little bit of this madness and I can start thinking about taking my boy out and get a lift up that way and. Uh, and, and get up somewhere, find a new spot up there, because that was lovely. Um, there's lakes and that all round there, like really, really close together. So I'll maybe walk up a wee bit further because I won't have to walk all the way up there. It's just the last little bit. Um, which also means I don't need to take so much water with me. Take some for just quick drinking water, probably more for the boy because 
she'll freak out if she finds a wee thing. <laughs> water from the lake, even purifying it and giving it to him. Oh, you're making my son drink. But uh, obviously, I wouldn't give him anything that wasn't safe. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that. Exactly when that's going to happen, I don't know. Because I can't. I've not seen my son in a month. Because uh, of the, the social distancing thing. Like, I, I don't live with him, obviously, me and his mum separated, so. He's with his mum, and I'm across the other side of town. But, um, yeah, that's the first thing I was going to do. And also, I need to see about, well, I wanted to get him a hammock. But, uh, I'm losing my job. Although they said, as soon as they open back up, they're more than willing to give me a job back. Which I'll probably take, just while I find something else, and then I'll be leaving straight away, because... I don't think anyone should be treated like that. If if that had been if my if my contract had run out one two weeks earlier, I would already have had another contract and they would have been stuck with it. So they really took liberties with that one. Eh, what are you gonna do? So yeah, that's to look forward to. Definitely, definitely. Now I myself might take a walk up there. Um, because it's a lot warmer now, I don't think I need my big sleeping bag. I can take some of my smaller stuff. Um, and I'll, as I say, I'll purify water, so I don't need to take a load of water with me, which really cuts down on weight. Even if I can't get a lift, I'll walk up on my own. I wouldn't like to walk up with the bag just for one night. I'd, I'd make it a two or three day, I think. Um, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to enjoy this coffee. Make sure this is all out and blah 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 and uh, head off home for some food. I'm starving now. It's been, a, it's been such a nice day. Lovely, lovely day. Well, that's us on our way home. It's been an awesome day. Uh, this is going to be a wee short video. Because um, I'm scouting and stuff. And it was, that was a long way, that was yeah, just under 8 miles there, well, not the whole thing, 8 miles there, 8 miles back, or 7.5 miles, something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to think on it, plan it, and see if I think I'm going to go all the way up that way. I think I could, but I'd need to take some lighter equipment. The good thing is, with the water sources up there, that would be a big, that would be like eight kilograms off my weight. So that's a lot in your bag. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video, like it. Uh, if you have any comments, they're always, um, always appreciated. Um, if you want notifications, ring that little, you know, not ring that bell, but um, press that little bell icon. You'll get notified when I'm, when I'm thinking. And uh, everyone stay safe out there and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.